She's now called Dr. B. Bernice Haydu of New Jersey received an honorary doctorate degree from Vaughan College this past May. She was recognized for her service to the United States of America during World War II. It was a time of crisis for America. Headlines blared out news of the war. And American women stepped up. Those who knew how to fly airplanes lobbied to become active in the war effort. In 1943, the Women's Air Force Service Pilots, or WASP, was created. They were not members of the military, but civil servants. Out of 25,000 applicants, 1,800 were accepted and 1,000 graduated. And one of them was B. Haydu. Flying at night so that the beacons would have an opportunity to practice. Uh, towing targets so that the anti-aircraft could shoot at the target with live bullets, and I think that was one of the most dangerous jobs. 38 of the wasps even gave their lives. This is a primer. But for B, it was a calling. I wanted to do more for my country than what I was doing, just being a secretary and a, a, a war-related product. However, I wanted to do more, and so I felt a little more fulfilled when, when I was flying for the country. For her service to the United States, B and her fellow wasps in 1977 were granted veteran status. In July 2009, she was invited to the White House where President Obama signed the bill authorizing the Congressional Gold Medal. I was one of three wasps who was there who, who witnessed them sign it. I was impressed. He's a wonderful talker. We would need someone like you to fly for us. <laughs> <laughs> B told these students about having to pay her own way to and from her base in Texas, paying for her uniform and earning $250 a month, and how it was unheard of for women to fly such planes. The significance is that we dared to cross the line and fly large military aircraft. Yeah. So, you know, because never before had bombers, pursuits, all kinds of trainers been flown, and we flew every aircraft manufactured for World War II. B says the WASP good luck symbol, Fifanella, the lady gremlin, proved lucky for her. She loved to fly, helped her country, and was married 50 years to a pilot, of course. Bernard Schussman, VOA News, New York.